Warning signs you're in a toxic relationship. Indications of a separation. How to let myself know if my partner will leave me. What are the most widely recognized indications of separation, and how might you detect them in indications of a separation, how to let know if my accomplice will leave me? Your own relationship before it's past the point of no return? Very much like the indications of a cheerful relationship, the admonition signs of separation come in all shapes and sizes and can be hard to see. In this video, I'll discuss probably the most widely recognized cautioning signs and how you can bring the indications of a separation that your psyche as of now sees to your cognizant brain. Did you have any idea that your character and your oblivious, programmed ways of behaving decide how simple it is for you to recognize the indications of your relationship heading for a separation? What's more, then again, assuming that it is in your temperament to focus on the upsides in your relationship and to further develop it? Our cognizant psyche can zero in on just a small portion of the large information comprised of our inward and outer upgrades, the upsides and the negatives of our relationship, which our oblivious brain continually enrolls. This leads me to ponder, so, all in all, does that second happen when you naturally notice the genuine condition of your relationship interestingly? Furthermore, do you really know how strong your relationship is? How mindful would you say you are of the manner in which your accomplice sees the substance and course of your relationship? Your psyche mind enrolls that large number of caution signs, so when will you pay attention to your inward insight? In this blog I will discuss the expected indications of a separation. How does our psyche enroll the indications of separation and distinguish the valuable chances to work on our relationship on the various degrees of cognizance? Oblivious Brain Subliminal Cognizant Brain Cognizance How does your character influence your capacity to see the indications of separation or the valuable chances to work on your relationship? What's the mischief in overinterpreting and being excessively mindful about the indications of a separation? How do your psyche and oblivious apprehensions and prohibitive convictions influence your relationship and your capacity to perceive the genuine condition of your relationship? What strategies could you at any point use to fortify your relationship? Are positive reasoning and self-control sufficiently alone? What do neurobiology and neuropsychology need to say regarding our capacity to manage dangers and open doors in a relationship? Do you enlist the indications of a cheerful relationship or would you say you are bound to see the advance notice signs? Could it be said that you are ready to investigate the advance notice indications of a separation or could you rather turn away from every conceivable gamble and simply stay as optimistic as possible? You have likely perused many stories in magazines of how somebody's separation came all the way out of nowhere and I bet you would rather not be one of them. How to detect the advance notice signs in time and abstain from separating. How to recognize the indications of separation in time by hacking into the large information your oblivious brain has been gathering about your relationship, accomplices, and your sentiments amidst your furious regular routines. Our brains are areas of strength for unimaginably just a little piece of is influenced quite a bit by. Despite what the realities that our normal psyche clutches tell us. Indeed, even the absolute best of connections don't necessarily feel great. Do you intentionally see every one of the potential indications of separation that your relationship, cheerful or not, is showing you? Do you suppose your cognizant psyche can enlist all that happens in the experiences between you and your accomplice or recognize every one of the indications of separation in the air? We experience a huge number of circumstances every day on which we use our considerations or sentiments. It's not possible for anyone to or is even expected to enlist each and everything consistently on the cognizant level, as this might be completely horrible for us. Yet, some of the time it is vital to pause and check out your relationship with the goal that you getting an opportunity to alter its direction on the off chance that you need to. To safeguard us against the flood of outside and interior boosts, or enormous information, we have the psyche and the oblivious brain where we store a greater part, 95%, of the multitude of occasions in our lives. This incorporates the admonition indications of a separation which we might have been enlisting starting from the start of the relationship. Unwittingly. 
We as a whole go through a huge number of contemplations consistently, the greater part of which are outside our ability to understand, our awareness. Not all that we think or accept is valid, reasonable, and great for us, despite the fact that we need to consider ourselves brilliant and benevolent individuals, basically with regard to ourselves. Something like 5% of our activities and decisions is cognizant. The cognizant brain can deal with normally just a small portion of the relative multitude of information that we gather through our faculties. For that reason it is smart to inspect the drivers of our oblivious psyche, especially assuming we notice that we are acting against our own objectives and values. Watch this video for more on the force of the oblivious psyche, the oblivious brain can drive you to a separation in a flash. There are many indications of separation, and thusly deciphering such signals is the artistic work. You can believe that you can see the indications of an expected separation with a similar responsiveness with which you draw in with your accomplice. The alerts of what is to come are available each time you draw in with your accomplice. And furthermore, after those minutes when you neglect to draw in with one another, the signs are enrolled in your psyche. To associate with your psyche, you need to dial back and pay attention to your internal voice. You are the spiritualist of your future each snapshot of your life, and you are similarly delicate to a fast approaching separation as you are to being available at the time at this very moment. On the off chance that you are equipped for being at the time, your accomplice reporting their flight most likely doesn't come as a total shock. The signs of separation are pretty much as novel as you and your accomplice and your common relationship with every one of the qualities. Very much like the structure of a relationship, deciphering the signs of separation is an extremely fragile workmanship. Both depend on a capacity to draw in with the present really and thoughtfully, both as yourselves. The capacity to consider your accomplice's decency to be an individual or your chances to further develop your relationship comes from a similar capacity to be available and a similar instinct. Whether you need a superior relationship with your accomplice or after you have left them, you will require your own device pack. Joyfully, you can fabricate and broaden that apparatus pack through cognizant exertion so it will be valuable for you in your connections as well as different everyday issues. For that reason I would urge you to construct your relationship abilities collection by drawing from the force of your psyche, beginning today, regardless of whether you have no clue yet where tomorrow will take you. Whether or not your inspiration is to see the indications of and expect a separation in time or to further develop your relationship forever, you will find the arrangements from a similar source inside your psyche and oblivious brain, arrangements that are both reasonable and feel right. How does your character influence your capacity to recognize the indications of separation or the chances to work on your relationship? The English clinician Jeffrey A. Dark has fostered a hypothesis on what the science of our cerebrum means for our character and our methodology toward dangers and potentially open doors. The Conduct Approach Framework, or BAS, controls and decides how delicate an individual is to see likely rewards and spurs them to look for their objective. An individual who is emphatically represented by the BAS is keen on open doors that could bring about compensating criticism or commendation from their accomplice or others. A BAS-ruled individual might be indiscreet and bound to dismiss gambles and guides their focus toward expected open doors, what's the issue, it'll be fine. Assuming somebody feels that their accomplice's declaration that they were leaving emerged from the blue, why would that be? Was there actually not a single indication of separation in sight, or was the individual basically unfit to detect them in time? The Social Restraint Framework BIS, makes an individual keep away from circumstances and activities that might bring about likely discipline. A BIS-overwhelmed individual maintains a strategic distance from circumstances where it is a plausible disappointment. For instance, attempting to work on their relationship. A neurotically restless individual might give a lot of consideration to the dangers, so they might be less roused to attempt to work on the relationship and on second thought decided to just persist and stay away from separation due to their apprehension about change. Positive reasoning is clearly useful while attempting to work on a relationship. Notwithstanding, you should initially understand that there is something to get to the next level. 
since you can't see issues doesn't mean they don't exist. Never nullify the issues that your accomplice raises regardless of whether you were unable to bear to pay attention to their protests that mainly spell dangers and troubles. Given that you need to remain together and be to some degree moderately cheerful. Try not to wipe the aggravation that your accomplice feels away from plain view with a lot of blossoms and trust that the relationship will repair itself. Comment us to improve Setflix channel please take a quick moment to subscribe to the channel and remember to click on the bell icon so you stop missing out on awesome free giveaways.